Colony Wars, where we last left off, we managed to defeat a huge Navy tyrant. So, uh, some of you might remember in previous videos, uh, I complained about the League's uh, capital ships being very, very paper thin, glass cannons, if you will. And interestingly enough, if you go to the craft database, which we will be having a bonus video of all that stuff anyway, uh, in a later video. Uh, if you look at the stats of the vehicles, uh, vehicles, the stats of the ships, the Navy ships actually have exactly double the stats of all of the League stuff. So that kind of explains it, you know, they've got twice the hull strength and twice the shield strength, which is kind of unfortunate for the League. But it does make sense, I guess, that our ships would be underpowered, because, you know, we've been sending all of our resources and all of our goodies to the Navy, and the Navy have been strip mining the outer colonies forever, so they have all the resources. Anyway, let's go. League advances are reported throughout Seoul's inner territories. Emergency Navy battalions have been drawn from loyal communities on Mars and Jupiter. The enemy's remaining military supply links have been upgraded to near capacity levels. Expect extreme resistance. Certain difficulties are being encountered by a number of League fleet craft supporting the attack. Constant ammunition runs are required, and engineering supplies are fluctuating. We also have a League dreadnought in the vicinity of Mars, requesting a rendezvous with a local destroyer. Interesting. Accompany the destroyer to the dreadnought. Should hostile craft enter the vicinity, provide armed support to all League craft. <laughs> Okay, you got it. Uh, unfortunately, we're in the S4 Dark Angel here, so very light craft, but it is what it is. So plenty of laser porn here, which I know is going to please one of you guys out there. Yeah, no scattergun today. Scattergun is my favorite weapon because it's just the anti-everything weapon, but nice to be able to use the anti-shield lasers and standard lasers once in a while. There's our destroyer. Glad you could join us, but there doesn't seem to be much activity. We will rendezvous with Dreadnought shortly. Just keep your eyes open. Alright. Curious. So that ship is called D-45, I believe. Kind of a boring name. It's right. We should have encountered Navy interference by now. Yes. Yes, we should have. But nothing yet. Very strange. Let's go check out this ship. League Dreadnought. It's an ambush. We'll have to fight. We don't have the firebomb. Uh, okay. That's bad. That's very bad. So apparently, this League Dreadnought isn't quite a League Dreadnought. Never mind, let's light it up with everything we have. Luckily, uh, our fighters more than make up for our capital ships. Because our fighters are devastating against everything. League destroyers under attack. Yeah, well there goes the dreadnought. Unfortunate that we had to lose the dreadnought that way. But, I suppose, was it really ours anymore? Definitely don't want to lose another frigate. Nice work, pilot. Starting to feel glad I signed up for this thing. Could have just sat on my ass. We're still an upholder of the law. Let's continue. Ooh, Strategic Chimera. analysis reports are indicating large-scale disruption at the heart of the Empire Command. Attempts are now being made to obtain specific details. League supply chains are running consistent supplies to units threatening interplanetary zones. The regional balance of forces is favorable. Final assault initiatives are now underway. Efforts to undermine key installations have been established. A raid on the Mars starport is imminent. Let's do it. 
The starport maintains its orbit via two tractor beams. You are required to join the attack on this installation and ensure its destruction. Be aware that the population of Mars remains fiercely hostile to League ambitions. Makes sense. It's a, you know, planet in the solar system. One of the benefactors of the uh, Navy. Okay, so we've got the S7 Chimera. So we're in a bomber. So that means plasma weapons, I'm sure. So we've got to take out two tractor beams, I guess. Or just go straight for the starport. I do like the Chimera. She's a nice ship. This is League uh. Destroyer. Take out the tractor beam generators. We'll take on the starport. Okay. So I guess we don't have any plasma cannons here. Interesting. We've got a burst torpedo and an anti-shield torpedo. Let's keep that. So being a bomber, we are kind of lightly armed here, but that's okay. We are joined by this wonderful Colony Wars music. Absolutely superb. Oh, we got Storm Lords. We got enemy bombers coming in. Well, hopefully. Yeah, I know League Destroyer is under attack, but there's sweet FA we can do about that. Stormlord. Hopefully the Stormlord's going to go for me. If nothing else will drain this thing's shields. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, let's switch back up to the anti-shield laser. So if this thing is going to basically plummet back towards Mars, surely that's going to cause a lot of casualties. on Mars itself. Or maybe not. Maybe this thing will just burn up in the atmosphere. But still can't shake the feeling that that would be pretty bad. Okay, we're taking some damage. We are definitely taking some damage, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. We're here to soak up some punishment. Yep, those generators are gone. Generators are gone, dude. Okay, let's take this thing out. I don't think we actually can. Whoa, we're getting a kick in here. Ow, dude. Not sure what the hell is hitting us, but it's not great, whatever it is. I guess we can't, yeah, we can't hit this thing. Let's get out of here. We're taking way too much damage here. Let's see if we can... Hold status critical. Hold, yeah, that's our hold status. Which is not fantastic. Oh, that's us, host. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we did what we came to do right right or maybe not oh dear let's continue distress beacon transmissions have been noted throughout all main assault fringes current status reports show mass resistance at primary conflict points hostile destructive activity is heavy Damage reports detail a severely impaired dreadnought orbiting Jupiter. It appears to have been attacked by an orbital cannon linked to the planet's trigger response network. Well, that's bad. Further damage would destroy this craft. Transfer to the detailed location and provide armed support to the League dreadnought. An enemy frigate is currently preparing to lock the dreadnought in position prior to further cannon fire. Ensure that the League craft survives this encounter. Well, we'll certainly give it a go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. 
So the last mission failed. I wouldn't, I'm not sure why I couldn't attack the starport if that was even what we were supposed to be doing. Pretty sure we just had to destroy the two tethers, which we did. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've played this game. Okay. You got it. Maybe. So, enemy frigate. We see it. Let's go in hard and heavy. Anti-shield laser. Anti-shield missiles. We're just going to hit this thing with everything we have. Unfortunately, we are kind of far away. That thing's going to reboot in two minutes. Yeah, it's interesting. Quite a lot of the Navy's basic vehicles can outgun uh, a League Dreadnought. Which is kind of sad when you think about it, but unfortunately that's the way it is. And we've got a Thunder Child. That's okay. The Thunder Child's going after me. Ooh. Not sure what's going on with the laser graphics there, but Pilot, whatever. This is League Dreadnought. Apparently we have sustained too much damage to risk a jump. The orbital cannon will be back in range in two minutes. Can you take it out? What, the orbital cannon? What orbital cannon? I can't see an orbital cannon on my map. So... Unless... Come on, baby. Come on. Frigate shields down. Alright, let's waste this thing. Come on. At least this thing should be able to get out of it. She's going up. Now, there's the orbital cannon, I'm guessing. Let's see what we can do to this. Hopefully, we should be able to take this thing out. Yep, that's definitely Navy. Uh, the tether's gone. Cannon's gone. Oh, God. There's another one. Okay. I was not aware that there was two cannons. That's fine. We've still got two anti-shield missiles left. Uh, wait. Hang on. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. I guess there was more than one orbital cannon. Uh, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're gone. Okay. Not sure if there was multiple cannons, but we seem to have saved the day. Hopefully that was enough. Oh dear. Dropped a flare, but it didn't help. He's done. Oh look, yeah, there is another cannon. So there was two heavy cannons. Well, let's not die. Because we are very fragile right now. We should be able to get to safety now. Thanks for your support. Hey, one of the missions went right. Jump gate open. <laughs> That's good. Because the rest of this campaign has been a little bit of a clusterfuck. At least since entering Seoul. I mean we won a fairly hard victory against that Titan. Hopefully that Dreadnought can get patched up back in the fight. Ooh, we didn't actually lose anything there either. Damage caused by the prevalence of enemy clone ships is seriously threatening the final League advances within Seoul. Enemy clone ships? Widespread confusion has been noted within the Empire's inner command core. However, in order to take full advantage of this situation, 
it will be necessary to secure the destruction of key clone ship manufacturing facilities. Okay. A super orbital above the surface of Mars has been verified as the clone fighter's primary source. An assault fleet has been briefed to enter the orbital's airspace and attempt the full destruction of this manufacturing compound. Mm. However, fierce resistance is expected. You are required to provide armed support to this attack, engaging the super orbital and all defending craft. Okay. Ensure that the League destroyer survives this mission, as supplies of all hardware are now limited. Yeah, and we are in the stealth eclipse ship. Can't remember this stealth ship much. Uh, I'm assuming it's a thing that might not be terrible. Pretty sure it's a very light ship. Can't remember what weapons it has. Might be the end of us. Right, so what are we packing? Target the super orbital for total destruction. This we... is a priority one order. Oh, we got the scatter gun. Oh god. Bloody frigate is just literally fucking off. Right, let's try the EMP. See if we can paralyze the main target. And if we can paralyze some of these fighters coming at us, all the better. That frigate is eager. Yeah, so not only are the League ships uh, at a number disadvantage, they're a lot weaker as well. A little bit like Halo in the UNSC, I suppose. Ooh, Spectres. I mean, we can try stunning these because... There we go, he's offline. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you don't have to keep hitting fighters. So he's stunned. Now, let's see if we can't take this thing out. Hey, we actually successfully used a flare there. Right, let's see if we can't disable this. Come on. Not sure if we need to disable this, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Permanently damaged. Right. Scatter gun. Let's go for the anti-shield lasers. Do we have... Got a grapple gun, tracker missile, plasma torpedo. No. So we don't really have anything good. There we go. Give it a couple of those. Give it one of them. And then waste it with this. Before the League Strawyer gets wasted. Oh, she's going up. She's going up. That's a big blow. That is a big blow. Yep. I see it. I see it. I see it. We've got it padlocked. We've got it padlocked. Come on. Permanent sensor damage. There we go. Let's see if we can't waste this thing now. Now, was it just the one? Nope. There's another one. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, this thing definitely can't hold off against two of these. So let's disable this bad boy. You can see it's like literally taking no damage at all. Which is curious. There we go. Permanent sensor damage. Let's pop this thing. Come on, baby. Come on. Not sure why our frigate is doing no damage whatsoever to it, but hey, that's the way this game likes to play sometimes. Do we have any missiles left? We do not. Come on. Now I can see why we don't want to lose any equipment, because 
we've got nothing left to lose. So we need to keep all of our guys in the fight. Right, he's had enough. So we've got a spectre up there. Let's EMP this bastard. Actually, I think that one is EMP'd. So that's the disabled. That one is not disabled. Let's disable these guys. So yeah, it looks like confirmed. Once fighters are disabled, they're disabled. It's only capsule ships that you have to give a double dose, apparently. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Now I wonder if we're going to get any more jump in once we destroy it. I guess we're going to find out. Oh, this guy's back up. Maybe we didn't paralyze this one. Come on, baby, come on. He's done. I don't know, maybe, maybe that you do have to keep tapping them out. Curious. Unless these are fresh, but I don't think so. You're done, son. You're done. Okay. One last thing to pop. This has been a heavy victory for the league. But then let's not count our chickens just yet. Because we have had some nasty defeats. Let's just absolutely coat this thing in some nice high powered lasers. There we go. Bathe it until she breaks apart. Lovely. Oh, that was good. That was satisfying. That was a colossal victory. Apparently our frigate or destroyer had barely taken any damage whatsoever, which is interesting. I'll take that win. We're still an upholder of the law. Hey, we can save here. Nice. Might actually be a good idea to save here, guys, because I'm out of time, sadly. And this video needs to get uploaded today. So, uh, we'll accept. And when we come back, <laughs> we're going to continue. I keep thinking this game's going to end, but it keeps going. And I'm actually quite happy about that, because I don't want this game to end. Because I love this game. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, end maybe? Uh, kind of, at least the end of this fork of the story anyway. Till then guys, thanks for watching.